Welcome back to another quick draw session with Rocky Davies. I'm testing out a voiceover on this one, so as you can see, I am drawing a skunk. Look at his beady little eyes and his creepy little hands. All those skunks. So what I'm doing here is I'm drawing in the ghost lines. You know, I'm just giving myself an idea of what I want to lay out. And I decided to put them in a big robot suit. So I'm drawing in some robot parts there. There's a little mouth on the belly, some eyeballs. Why don't we give him some big stink guns? You know, so he can really blast someone and make him think twice about facing Dr. Skunkinator. So, you know, I kind of get some ideas of what I'm going to put down. Get a little bit of a stance. Drawing some shoes on the robot so that, you know, he keeps his feet dry from oil spills and grease and whatnot. And we're going to give him a big mech skunk tail here. So we're drawing that in. we got to draw in the other little stink gun. Do some nice uh, stink rays coming out of it. And you know, that's looking pretty good. So I think now I'm going to come back and get my pen. So I'm going to check the lines. Okay, that's about what I want. So I'm just doing kind of a quick drawing with some ink, just for the fun of it. Going to give it some more definition, just make it more look like a completed drawing. So here I'm trying to give it kind of some quick angles and lines, and if I push harder with this pen, it makes the line go a little thicker, so I can control if it's a thin or thick uh, placement of that. So I'm just kind of coming through, drawing this tail, of the actual skunk, doctor, mad scientist, whatever he is. Maybe he's a mutated skunk from Shredder's lab. I'm drawing in the mech. Here's the good old stink ray. And he's blasting his neighbors, make him move out of town. And there's his other stinkray. And you know, the mech suit needs to have its own little character, so that's why he's got somewhat of an angry Legion of Doom thing here. Some little details. Let's get those arms. Drawing, drawing, circles, dots. So it kind of looks like a garden spray thing or whatever. A watering can. You know, a garden spray. Now here's his legs, put down that leg, some shoes, the finest fashion, we're all mech suits out this spring. Draw on this other leg, some shoe details, oh, some more stink rays. Now his big tail, maybe he could fire out of the tail also if he had someone attacking from behind. Put in some bolts, some other line details. There we go, we got ourselves a nice mecha skunk suit. So I think at this point I'll maybe come back in and just do a little bit of detailing colors. Kind of give it a bit of a two-tone there, so, you know, just fill in so it really looks like a skunk, with the, at least at the ink stage. Dr. Skunk, Dr. Skunk, if you're in school, he'll make you flunk. He's the worst teacher there is, basically. You don't want to go to Dr. Skunk's class. It's too hard to concentrate. Eyes watering, gagging in your mouth. I'm just filling this in so he's got a little bit of two-tone to him. Just add some interest to the drawing. Have some dark areas, some light areas. And I'm just kind of having some fun here too. Drawing in some happy skunks. Just let those happy skunks come in. So now I'm going to go ahead and do a quick vector on this. So what I'm doing is I'm drawing out some simple shapes and then I pull out the gradient tool and angle it so that I can get the dimension, kind of the gradient, the shading direction I want. So I'm just building shapes. I put them behind if they need to go behind. And then I can grab stuff and duplicate it out. So really I only have to draw this little uh, skunk spray mechanism once. And then I can just duplicate it over. But here I'm getting my shapes. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some shading on it, some overall shading. So I draw that and then I create a mask and pull it in and then put it over the top of my main body. Now I'm going to look at his face, draw on his little red nose, draw on some eyeballs, 
And all the same thing, I'm just using the shapes and adding some gradients to them. Pull them the right direction that I want. And then I uh, just do one detail, another detail, another. People say that working in vector is kind of like working with construction paper and a magic pair of scissors. And that's basically what I'm doing here. Cutting out shapes, putting them where they go, dropping them behind, adding some shading. Bing, bing, bingo. And my hands really move that fast. But not really, this is sped up to like, uh, what does it say? 5x. Let's see there, I'm still, I'm adding some shapes and then I'm gonna create some masks, lay it over the top, and then pop the mask back over the actual source shape. Just gives it some nice shading. But again, I'm going pretty fast on this regardless. I just wanted to show a bit of the basic uh, way that I put together a piece. If I was doing this for real, for a client or something, I'd take a lot more time and do it with a lot more uh, finite details. But for Mr. Skunk here, I'm just kind of goofing around. I'm doing some more shading. See, then I create the mask, then I drop the mask back over the top. I'm giving away all my secrets here. I'm also powered by jelly beans during this video. Putting on some shading there, trying to add some like white areas so he feels more skunkish. Probably should have given him a mohawk, but no, I didn't think of it at the time. It's just to blend it in. Like I said, I'm just doing this kind of quick here, giving you guys a basic idea of shapes, masks, building up the skunkinator doctor over the top of my sketch that I had done previously. Making a joystick here, just a circle, then you make a cylinder, and then I just size in the bottom a bit so it feels more joysticky. Got it in the back of the hand, and there he is. Thumb, palm, finger, finger. I wonder how much detail you guys actually want when I'm doing these videos. What I'm creating now is a hypotenuse with the second rate filter at an AKB with an angle of 35 degrees and an ascent of 6. When drawing Dr. Skunk shoulders, be sure to add extra starch. Now it's getting some buttons over here. I've got, you know, some red details. So might as well continue on with red. Click, 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 click. I wish I could go this fast on client work and I'd have time to sit around and stare at the wall. So I'm getting this, the tail right there, you know, put my shape in, and I do some shading, masking, cut, group, slide it back over. Push it to the back. Dr. Skunk. You should probably have a cooler name than that. Maybe Dr. Funk because of his stink. i to do a little bit of detail under him so he's got a neck shadow, some arm shadows, and there's that mech coming back. My hands are flying over there hitting hot keys. And I'm also changing colors, making sure I've got the, the gradients and stuff exactly how I want them. putting in some glass on the dome to make it look a little glassy, shiny. Go and warp speed, speed it up. Oh, this is before I get my hair cut. I'm doing this voiceover a couple days later. Guys like my singing? Dr. Skunk will kill you in your sleep. Cause he's silent, but he's deadly. 
Okay, now I'm gonna get that mouth in there, so I'm gonna knock it back. But again, I'm doing the mask on it. That's how I do everything. Shape, mask, flakes. Drawing some teeth in there. Make him look really, uh, angry mechas. Uh, mecha angers. Be, uh, feel free to add in some suggestions as to what you would call the skunk and his mecha suit. The flatulator. I just want to do a little detail on the eyes to make them look a little round and glowy. So again, same procedure. Draw mask place. Just doing some detail on the other stuff there. Okay. Oh, there's my other mech hand that I had before and I just unhid it. It was just hiding this whole time. I drew in a stroke for the arm and then I outlined the stroke. And then I can add shading to it too. And do a mask and some effects. He's gotta have bendy robot arms, so you know he can shoot in all directions and give a even spray and coating over his villains or actually the heroes. I see that this guy is probably the villain. But he's gotta be agile and quick on his feet to defeat whatever hero he faces. I don't know what kind of hero a skunk villain would face. Maybe Perfume Man? Perfume Man! And the best smelling hero in town. So some more details on the Mac Skunk Tail. Uh, since it's a metal, I was going to give it some actual angles instead of just doing some soft um, masking blurs on it. So there's kind of a glare on the screen, unfortunately, but that's basically what I'm doing. I'm cutting some angles to it so it has a bit more uh, rigidity. Is that a word? Rigidity. Okay, then the same thing, just drawing in his shoes. Simple shapes, but then you go back and add more details. Add in his shoe details. Da -da -da -da. Still always manipulating the hotkeys up there, that's what my right hand is doing. I'm pushing control, I'm pushing command, whatever. Uh, just to work things exactly how they need to be so I can quickly move through my basic steps. I set my own hotkeys for a couple different things. Just helps speed up the process. Giving him some soul. So uh, now I'm creating the top part of his shoes. So again, just a quick, simple cylinder. So I can add that on there and apply it to the shoe. Then I can duplicate it over, saves me some time. I draw his legs, just using a simple pen tool, just bending it out with some curves, I'm giving it a gradient, and then moving on to the other one. Drawing in some kneecaps. Put in some shading and some stuff back there. So it drops the tail back a little bit behind. I'm just adding a little background here just to help show it off. Then I remembered I should probably save, so that was that quick little maneuver. Give him a little ground shadow. Give him a little uh, highlight glare on his glass. And now drawing in a bit of a stink rays from there. And my video is about to run out because uh, the GoPro wasn't recording. It met its memory card limit. So I apologize for not showing off the very final, but it was pretty close. This and imagine some uh, more stink rays. We'll see how far it goes. Now these I'm just drawing in the shapes and then I'm giving them some blur and some transparency. So again, we've got this glare here. I gotta figure out how to record better without so much glare on the screen. But, you know, that's a pretty quick vector. In real time, this probably was about an hour's worth of vector. Getting it all in there, just a quick layout. Alright, thanks for listening.